Hi everyone and welcome to our video kit release for our Moments collection. It is a beautiful collection as you can see with bold colors, fabulous elements, easily creatable stuff and it's all about relationships. It's all about really building and, and you know letting people know about how much those relationships mean to you. Obviously there's texting, there's Facebook, there's email but truly building relationships is doing things face to face. So maybe it was you went out with one of your friends, you went shopping, you went for coffee, uh, maybe you went over to their place, maybe you snapped a, a picture on your iPhone, but why not do something with that? Take that out of your phone, get it down into your computer and maybe make them a wonderful little thing out of a frame. Maybe make them a card. Maybe you made them uh, something to go in a picture frame because it was such a wonderful time you had with them. It's really about those things and that's what life is about, isn't it? So in this collection, in our bundled collection, we always include the five products that are coordinated together. And in that are our FQB uh, elements and papers, our Moments 2 additional paper pack, our Moments Talk Alpha, our Moments Solids paper pack, and obviously our Moments Little Bits additional elements pack. So by buying them as the bundle, again, you get 20% off, which is a great deal versus purchasing them ind individually. But, and we're sure you're going to want to buy them the, in the bundle because this offers a lot. So let's go in and have a peek and see what everything is here. As you'll see in the background papers, there's the beautiful florals. Mary Fran does such a great job of the florals. They are so beautiful. Like when you look at that, it almost looks like you could pick those flowers off the page. They, they really are that vivid. And the colors, the colors are really... Uh, a master in, in in this kit. It you'll see all the boldness that comes through. Yet here are some of the softer colors in the in the beiges and things like that. And look at the beautiful pattern of the damask. You're going to be able to create very uh, elegant, very mature themed uh, layouts, cards, and mini albums. And we're sure you're going to want to do more and more of them. And that's why, like I said, buying the bundle is really the way to go with this kit. You're going to see some of those elements in the little bits that you're really going to say, oh, you know what, I need that too. Well, you might as well go ahead and buy the bundle then, right? Here's the florals in big prints. For those of you that love these, I know I do as well when, when I create the cards to, to show on our website here. These are fantastic. Look at it in the black. Look at the big dramatic, uh, you know, differences between the bold reds, the blues, the rich, rich color. Uh, you know, that is just gorgeous. And there it is in a navy. Mary Fran chose a real true blue here. Uh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm not sure if it's coming through on your screen, but just so you know when you buy it, um, it, it is a really true, beautiful blue that you will just love to use in, in your creations. Some other great patterns in just houndstooth, things like that to, to give you that extra punch. Uh, the leaves, look at how soft that is. You're going to see how I use this particular paper in my card making uh, inspiration later on here at the end of the video I'll show you those to give you some idea but just gorgeous gorgeous ideas and there's a red again a really true red it has that uh, I don't know it just evokes a feeling when you when you get those true colors that are seem oh yeah that is exactly the right color uh, that I want to to create with and those colors are you're gonna find in this kit in spades so, as I was saying earlier, you have these beautiful, beautiful things. I was talking about making relationships. So let's take a look at this paper as an example. If you had a photo of your friend because when you were out and maybe they were laughing, maybe you made that friend really laugh or they made you really laugh and they sent you the photo of it. What a wonderful memory to, to always have. The fact is, is, is we do have memories and we have lots of them, but how many actually got pushed away and are in the garbage somewhere in our brain? Uh, you know, you can only store so much, just like your computer or your phone. Uh, we want to capture those and preserve those because really, that's truly what life is all about. So there are all sorts of things. The tickings are beautiful as well because you always need something like that in order to complement these twall patterns, the florals, things like that. You need simpler ones as well. And this kit has the full range of them in order to create with. Brackets. You're going to see how Mary Fran used the brackets in a really interesting way in the, the uh, scrapbooking layout inspiration that I'll show you at the end of the video here. They are really truly a great thing. Now whether that's an emotion, laughter, and you put that in brackets for your photo, uh, you know, that's certainly a good way of doing it. But like I said, I'll show you a little later on here how Mary Fran decided to use it. What sweet buttons. 
Again, it really has that feel. We wanted the mature theme to this so that you can use it for whether that's your spouse, whether that's friends of yours, whether that is maybe uh, your one of your kids you know, that you were with. There are so many options for this. A great cluster. Again, Mary Fran makes these great clusters that you can truly see, okay, this is obvious what I can do with this kit. It, I start out with something like this. It is the perfect place to start by just using this as your inspiration and then building. You can see the different colors of papers that could go with this. But beautiful collection of beautiful, collect beautiful moments to cherish forever. Um, this is just something that is so dynamic, right? And here is the floral border. For those of you that are new to us or uh, you know haven't, haven't bought a lot of our kits before, this is opaque behind here. So this is transparent behind everything. So you just imagine this as a border and these are the only pieces that you get. So you can layer that over a background paper if you want and the background paper shows through every all the little bits and, and negative spaces. But as well, when you print it, if you for those of you that have cutting machines like we do, uh, we have a Cricut, um, this, the Cricut will cut this out. So you will see this fine, fine cut, even these leaves and things like that. So you can use that and create in uh, physical paper form as well and you place that over anything. Same thing with the floral corner, a fabulous, fabulous item in order to then have your own creative appeal. Whether you want that in the corner of a frame, I'll show you the frames as we're coming up. You'll also see again how I chose to use this in my card making inspiration. So you'll get an idea of how to use it. Another beautiful flower cluster, happiness is you. Can't you see that as a very soft, emotional uh, uh, element with paired with a photo or paired with another uh, sweet card that you maybe you wrote in because you of telling somebody how much you care about them or things like that? Isn't that just beautiful? There's so many things you can do with this. Here are the frames I was talking about. Mary Fran does has leaves uh, some of them plain for us. So that way you still have your little bit of creativity that you can, can do with these. As you can see, it's a nicely ornated frame. You can place a picture behind it. You can place a beautiful background paper behind it. You can place a main element behind it, whether that's one of those floral clusters, whatever you want to do. Uh, don't think of them as only for photos. But then you can also adorn the front of it with extra flowers, uh, extra elements that you see in the kit that you love. And here's one rendition of how Mary Fran chose to, to create it is to put that sentiment in the center and look at how beautiful that is. Here are some journal cards, moments to be cherished. Again, like I was talking about, this whole kit is all about relationships with people and really truly letting people know them about it and capturing those so that the, those, are, those moments are preserved forever for, for both of you. So these are terrific elements to use, to slide into cards, to write on and put in your layouts, whatever. Phrase uh, strips. These are the moments I'll treasure forever. Mary Fran tries to get great phrases, puts them together. She really takes a lot of time with these actually when she's creating. These, this is a, a, a large portion of, of a day just to create these things because she works so hard on the fonts, works so hard on the phrases to try and give you things that you would probably use. Obviously, we can't think of everything, um, but we try to, to, she tries to create things that are embody the feel of the kit and stuff like special moments like this. Maybe you're using this for your anniversary. Uh, maybe you're using this because on your anniversary it is you're pairing it together with old photos from your wedding that were that was hopefully years ago and you've had lots of happy memories together. What a wonderful tag to use. But we also she also does include the blanks for you. We recognize that for two reasons. Number one, English is not everybody's primary language. We do sell worldwide and, and we have a lot of customers who are not English speaking. So we want to give you that opportunity in order to write it in in your uh, uh, language. And as well, maybe we didn't quite capture exactly what you wanted to say. So there you have the option of doing it yourself because we all have tons of markers and uh, ink pens and paint pens and things like that. So easy to, to, to fill in for you. Look at the ribbon trim. This is really, really nice. Like with the, you can see the scalloped kind of almost lacy type edge to it. Um, very, very beautiful. Again, challenge yourself to use the ribbons because the ribbons are so easy to use and they add a lot. You'd be surprised. Sentiment stamps. Again, for those of you that are newer to us, this sentiment stamp, well, you guys read this, I'll blather. Uh, this sentiment stamp, you would use exactly as you would a, an ink stamp, like in physical real life here. So you can place that onto a background paper. You can do whatever. This is all opaque behind. 
for those of you that create and like to print our designs, which I know there are a lot of you, and so then that way you can craft in physical paper. You simply, whatever program you're using, whether that's a, something as simple as Microsoft Word or something at more advanced like Photoshop uh, elements, uh, you put your paper down first, then you drag this on top of it, just like you would a stamp, exact same process. And then when you go to print, this is printed onto your paper exactly like you want it. So you can resize it to whatever size you want to do with it. Same thing with you and me, another great stamp. You'll see how I use this one as well in our slide, which is, is on our um, website, that big rotating uh, banner that you see on the, on our, the front page of our, our website. Uh, this sentiment as well, a sentiment stamp are great things to use. And hopefully we've, we, Mary Fran has, has hit exactly upon what you wanted to say. Sentiment cards. Now, again, these are terrific things in order to add in uh, to, you'll see how Mary Fran used it in her layout. Uh, you can use these as card inserts so that way you can, this could be the interior of your card on the inside jacket, not on the, on the right where you write on, on the right hand side, but on the left hand side. Why not make your card absolutely stunning? Finish it out fully. These are the moments to remember forever. Again, great sentiment cards and sentiment strips. Something a little different, a little different style. Maybe it was something that you want that was a little more into uh, the design. You wanted more of the pattern. As you saw on the last uh, blank strips, they just had a little bit of pattern in that left-hand corner. This is a nice little different style for you. Spool buttons, Mary, is, Mary Fran is calling these. Uh, fabulous little uh, buttons in order to pop into your layouts and cards. Uh, they give such color. They give such interest because of their shape and texture. Great things to use. And tags. These tags, again, if you're looking at those and saying, well, I'm not really sure what to do with that. Okay, well, as an idea, why don't you use this where you slide this underneath a main photo and you can use this as a writable area. You can also use this in your card making where you can shrink this way down and it just adds that interest because of the metal look to it on the, on the top button there. And as well, you could add maybe a flower to it. Why not put a nice big floral on here, build it up with decoupage, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, there's so many options that you have with these. And the tickets, the same thing. Tickets are great tuck-ins where you wanted to add some interest in color. The tickets are the perfect thing for that. And lastly are some word labels. Again, great font work, great color. And there is our FQB. Our little bits, which is our additional elements pack, is again, you are going to see so many elements here that are fully finished, fantastic, and easy to pop in. This is all about the ease. Like here's this corner cluster. Little bits are all about the ease of not being having a lot of time or being able to find that main element to start with. That's always a, a key challenge. So the our little bits is perfect for that. You obviously get a couple other elements in here, some extra frames. You get some extra journal cards, but look at how it almost looks like a pad. Doesn't that look like you're gonna write on that top sheet and tear it off and go on to the next sheet and everything else? Just fantastic elements. Once in a while, in the middle of an ordinary lo life, love surprises us and gives us a fairy tale. Again, fantastic. Can't you see how, okay, that may not be my exact main element, but it's kind of my secondary element where I'm gonna use that in the top of my card, the top of my layout, where this is I really what I wanted to say and now I can build that center with the, the corner clusters or whatever and have my photo or on a card you can have your main elements that you want to uh, to remind people of. Maybe it's another word tag or you want to say something to someone. They're, the options are endless. So they're great labels in here again with perfect things like this. Why not even make this into a bookmark? Well, you know how lovely this would be printed off on cardstock and given to your friend or whatever the case may be. You also could take this and you don't have to give it just as is. You can add a flower to it if you want. You could add a word tag with their name on it. You could make uh, have it a little bit larger if you wanted to back it with another paper. Um, again, a great gift giving idea for Christmas. Uh, obviously Christmas is coming up. If you're watching this video later in the year, this, this is actually when the, the kit came out. But special people are, are like you are rare. Great, great, like look at this tag. Look at how she, Mary Fran paired up all the different colors in here. Isn't that just beautiful and interesting? Isn't that something like you'd see in a magazine? 
Just great font and again, a great beautiful element that adds such interest to your layouts and cards and, and, and uh, mini albums. So that is the, what comprises of our little bits. Our Moments 2, our additional elements pa or paper pack, has the similar patterns that you saw in the FQB because we want things to coordinate well, but these are all their own individual colors. You do not get these papers anywhere else and like look at that in that kind of steel blue color. Isn't that dramatic? That's one of my favorites in this, in this uh, entire pack here. But that is the point of our uh, two paper pack is like I said, we know if you love a kit, you're going to want to create a lot with it. So you want things to match, but not be exactly the same. You just don't want to make the same thing over and over again. Uh, and that is the point of having that is you have so many more options. Our solids paper pack. So as you'll see, uh, there is, I'm going to just stop on one here so you can see, I guess maybe this is a better one on the dark colors. You can see there is a muted line pattern in here. So it can be used as its own standalone paper, no question. But in a lot of cases, as we do with cardstock when we're crafting in physical paper, you want something to back an element, uh, back a photo, uh, use as a, a border around in another uh, background paper. This has all the exact color matched solid papers. So that way your project is really professional looking. It is not simply like where you had to try and match up a cardstock that you had. This gives you the exact color match. Lastly is our alpha. Our alpha is so beautiful. It has life to it, yet it has uh, elegance and refinement to it in the pattern that Mary, Mary Fran chose. And the alpha, again, it, this is fantastic to use as uh, to punctuate whatever it is, whether that's an emotion, a name, a place, a date, whatever it is, it's somebody's initials, uh, you know, whatever that is. The alpha is the way in order to really truly uh, draw that, draw somebody in to say, oh yeah, this is specifically what it's about or this is specifically about me and I wanted to make you aware of that. So use the alpha in many different ways. Use your own creativity, do whatever it is that you see fit, but do use it. It is a fantastic thing. If you do buy the bundles and you find, you know what, I don't use the alpha very much. Maybe that's your challenge here in, in this kit is to go ahead and do that. So lastly, I promised you I would show you some inspiration here. Let's just find, there we are, layout. So he, look at how Mary Fran used this bracket. This is what I was talking about earlier in order to highlight the photo. It was just a beautiful photo, obviously a very precious moment of a newborn of friends of ours. Uh, and look at how well that turned out. Here as well is the journal cards. Look at how beautiful they turn out. When you add in, remember I, there was that uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, sentiment that was in there as a sentiment stamp? Well, that is placed onto the background paper. So you'll see a lot of the ideas that we talked about are incorporated in Mary Fran's layout. This is actually a flower cluster over here, and this is one of the finished flower clusters because remember it has that happiness is you tag already paired with it. It's the same thing at the top. This entire tag at the top with these two ribbons, all this stuff in here, the red flower, the, the beige tag, that is all paired together for you in the kit as one clustered element. So great way, but look at how much more Mary Fran added and to make it even more special. The other one is our card. And as I mentioned to you earlier, look at how I used a, I used a frame from the kit. Didn't use it for a photo, things like that. I wanted to frame in this beautiful area where I placed in four separate background papers. This is actually the corner cluster of flowers. So that's how you layer it right over the top of your papers and you can see how everything shows through underneath. And uh, there is how what I was talking about with the tags, with the tickets, all those kind of things. How you just add that in and it gives it that extra little bit of flavor on what would maybe be a little bit of a boring area. So that is our bundled moments collection. I hope that you've liked this collection and you'll now head over to our store in order to pick this up for yourself and begin creating. It is a really, really fun kit to create with and your end results, you're going to stand back yourself and say, wow, you know what? I actually did really well here. So before you head over to our store, take a look down on the right hand side of this screen. You'll see our Knitwick Collections logo where you want to click on that and subscribe to our channel to be made aware of whenever new videos are put out. As well, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts on this collection, 
on the video, whatever it is. And we hope that you'll take the time to click on over to our store. You'll see up in our description area, there is the direct link to this kit or you'll see it up on the gray part of the screen on the top. You'll see the little eye with the circle around it and it's in gray. You can just click on that and that'll take you right over to it. Thanks again for tuning in and we hope that you enjoy creating and in, enjoy making and then preserving moments in your life. Thanks again. Bye-bye.